Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will do another top 10 of the best transmog sets that you can either farm or craft in World of Warcraft and really some sets you can make a lot of gold with. So for this top 10 I will try to focus only on all the different sets that have a very good sell rate and that will sell very fast. So in order to make the top 10 I'm going to take into consideration the sell rate of the different items, the overall value of the set and of course the difficulty in getting all these different items. So let's start with actually what is going to be number 11. It's just because it's a very quick bonus. So there is one cosmetic set that I think is pretty interesting and this is the Winter Clothes uh, set. So this is the set that you can craft during the Winter Veil vale event. And so this is a cosmetic set that you can uh, use only during the Winter Veil vale event but you can still craft and sell this item throughout the year and people can also learn this cosmetic item throughout the year. So the average sell rate of this set is 0 0.17 and then the value on European realms is going to be between 3000 gold to 8000 gold and 350 gold and on US realms it's 2260 gold to 4000 gold. So it's not really the best set, but it's still something very easy to craft. You need tailoring and never working. And like that, you can really make a lot of gold. So just a quick tip, and that's going to be my number 11. So now let's start with our number 10. And at number 10, we're going to get one set that you can get just by killing random mobs in uh, Outland. And it's going to be the Blood Scale set. So the blood scale set is this pretty cool male set that a lot of people are using because when you're using it on a, on a female character, you can see like the part of the legs of the character. So a lot of people like this type of transmogs. So this set has an average sell rate of 0 0.04 and the value on European realms is going to be between 34,000 gold and 800 gold to 56,000 gold and on US realms 42,000 gold and 600 gold to 76,000 gold. So the value is pretty good, the sell rate could be better, but again, you have some of the PCs such as for instance the legs that are at 0 0.08, so some of the PCs are really really good and will definitely sell for quite a lot of gold. So a good set overall. And in order to get this set, you want to go in Outland. One of my favorite spots to farm the set is like just a camp that is there where you have like a lot of mobs and you can kill them pretty quickly and they have a chance of dropping these different items. Or you can also, of course, do the different dungeons. And this is a world drop uh, set, so you can really get it by doing any type of activities in Outland. So after that, at number 9, we're going to get the Iron Hide set. This set is from Vanilla Wo. This is also a set that you can get just by killing world creatures. As you can see, I really like the appearance of this set. I think the colors are really good and the details is very, very nice for a set from Vanilla Wo. So this set has an average sell rate of 0 0.05 with, of course, some of the best pieces being the chest piece, uh, the gloves and uh, the legs. And the value on this set is 20,000 gold and 500 gold to 30,000 gold and 900 gold on European realms and 34,000 gold, 900 gold uh, to 41,000 gold on US realms. So the value is pretty good and again, a pretty nice sell rate. In order to get this set, what you want to do is do the normal farm in Silitus. So you want to come here and kill all the mobs in these different twilight camps and posts. Like that, you will be able normally to get some of these uh, armor pieces. You can also uh, do the dungeon Zulfarak, and you have other dungeons that you can also do, but this is probably going to be one of the best ones. And then you probably have other like um, farms, um, especially. Uh, thinking about one of these caves that is available in the Thousand Needles and that is just like around there. So around there you have like a mine and if you kill all the mobs inside you will also get some of these armor pieces. So after that at number 8 we're going to have the Crafted Dreadful Glitter Silk Set. So this set is a set that you can craft with the tailoring profession from Mr. Pandarium. And there is like one very interesting thing with the different glider sets from Miss of Honor. So as I've explained in one of my videos where I was talking about the Mage Tower, with the different relic of the past, these items that you can craft with any uh, like uh, professions, you can upgrade the eye level of the different items that you're crafting. And so when you're crafting these different glider sets from uh, Miss of Honoria, 
you can upgrade their eye level to either 48 or 54. And it makes these sets some of the best sets you can use in the Mage Tower. So a lot of people will purchase these sets for that specific reasons. A lot of people will also just purchase them because these are some unique appearances and because if you complete the full set, you will get the achievement for completing the full set. So each time for the glider sets, I'm going to explain the value uh, for the set if you use the Relic of the Past turning the eye level to 48 and then the one turning the eye level of the overall set to 54. So for this specific set, the average set rate is 0 0.065, which is pretty good. And then on European Realms, if you craft this set with an eye level of 48, it's going to be 20,000 gold and 300 gold. And if you craft it with an eye level of 54, it's going to be 35,000 gold and 900 gold. So pretty good uh, uh, overall. And then on US Realms, it's going to be 16,000 gold, 700 gold for um, the 48 eye level uh, set and 37,000 gold and 400 gold for the 54 eye level set. So in order to craft these different uh, sets, you want to get the recipes and uh, to get the different recipes, you just need to craft daily these uh, like silver sworn um, cocoon and these different items. And normally you will unlock every day one recipe. So it will take you a little bit of time to unlock all the different recipes, but it's really not too difficult. And then in order to craft the sets, it's extremely cheap. So really, you should make a lot of profit when crafting these different sets. And again, I really encourage you to always use a Relic of the Past because the Relic of the Past are extremely easy to craft. And like that, you can really find more buyers with these different sets. So after that, at number seven, we're going to get the Crafted Dreadful Glider Spellweave set. So this one is for Warlocks, and this is another very good set. So this one has an average set rate of 0 0.12, which is extremely, extremely good. And the average value is going to be between 20,300 gold for eye level 48 and 35,900 gold for eye level 54 on European Realms. And then on US Realms, it's going to be 16... 1700 gold for eye level 48 and 37,400 gold for eye level 54. So a really good set overall. And in my opinion, something extremely, extremely easy to make a lot of gold with. And as you can see, really some of these items have a set rate of more than 0 0.16, like things like that. So it's, it's a really good set overall. And again, it won't cost you a lot in order to craft it. So now at number six, we're going to get the Crafted Dreadful Glider's Chain Armor set. So this one is the same Mist of Pandaria set, but this time for Hunters. And this is the same concept in terms of uh, how to craft these different items. So really just need to have lever working and then to unlock daily the different, um, the different recipes. And for this one specifically, the different items you want to craft are the Arden Magnificent Hide. So this one. And I think you can also do another one. Uh, so you have this one. And I think there is then the exotic, uh, something you have like, yeah, the magnificent of lever. And so like that, normally you should be able to unlock some recipes every day. So for this set, the average set rate is 0 0.06. And then on European realms, it's going to be between 60,000 gold for eye level 48 and 90,000 gold for eye level 54. And on US Realms, it's going to be 51,000 gold uh, for an eye level 48 and 37,400 gold for an eye level 54. So really good set. And for the different lever sets, it's a little bit more expensive to craft the full set, but it's probably going to be still like less than 5,000 gold on average. So you should be able to make a huge profit when crafting these different sets. So now at number five, we're going to get the Crafted Dreadful Glitter's Wyrm Hide set. So this one is a set for Druids, and this one has an average set rate of 0 0.05, and then the prices are between 60,600 gold for eye level 48 and 101,000 gold for eye level 54 in European realms, and then 54,400 gold for eye level 48 and 76,900 gold for eye level 54 on US realms. So a really good set as well, and it's going to be the same. Uh, cost in order to craft the full set, so probably like less than 5,000 gold, something like that. And again, I would encourage you to use the different relic of the past.
So after that, at number four, we're gonna get the Crafty Dreadful Gladiator's Plate set. This is the Warrior set. Uh, this one, in order to get some of the recipes, in order to unlock the different recipes, you want to craft the uh, Lightning Steel Ingots and the Balanced Trillium Ingots. So you should be able to unlock two different recipes uh, per day. And on this set, the average set rate is 0 0.07. And then the value is 34,500 gold for high level 48 and 52,000 gold for high level 54 in European realms and 50,900 gold uh, for high level 48 and 71,900 gold for high level 54 on US realms. So really good. And the cost for this one is even cheaper. I would say it's probably like around like, yes, also like a little bit less than 5,000 gold on average, depending on your realm, of course. But definitely not something that should take you too long and too much uh, gold in order to craft. So after that, at number three, we're going to get the famous Glorious set. It was already part of one of my previous top 10. So this set is uh, with a set rate of 0 0.07. And then the value is between 126,000 gold on, uh, to 200k gold on European realms and 173 thousand gold to 246,000 gold on US ones. So a really good uh, set rate and a really good value overall for this set. So in order to get this set, it's going to be pretty similar to the other ones. Uh, you want to go in Silitus and to kill all these different mobs around here. It's really going to be one of the best way. And then, of course, you also have uh, Zulfarek. Zulfarek, which is going to be really a good way to also acquire some of these pieces. And, of course, the best, like, is from this set is going to be the legs and after that you have also the chests and the belts and the gloves and also the boots all of them are pretty good but really these are the main the main ones you want to try to farm so at number two we're going to get the dragon rider set this is another set that you can uh that i mentioned in one of my previous top 10 so this set has an average set rate of 0 0.07 as well and the value is between 116,000 gold to 167,000 gold on European realms to 160,000 to 230,000 gold on US realms. So really an extremely good value and a really good set rate. Some of the different pieces are more or less interesting. The best one is the harness, the chest piece, and also the shoulders. But all of them after that have a really good set rate. So overall, you should be able to make quite a lot of gold with all these different uh, pieces. So in order to get this set, you just want to do some island expeditions. So you want to go in uh, your main city in Battle for Azeroth. And normally around the docks, you will be able to do some, uh, to like enroll in order to do some of these island expeditions. And then this is a random drop from the different uh, like islands. And you can also buy specific crates in order to get this set. So definitely not as difficult to get as, for instance, the Glorious sets, I would have to say. So let's now talk about number one. And number one is going to be the Bloodlust set. So this set has an average set rate of 0 0.12. And then the value on European realms is going to be between 89,000 gold to 107,000 gold. And on US realms, it's a little bit less. It's between 30,000 gold to 43,000 gold. So this set is, in my opinion, really an extremely, extremely good set. As you can see, some of these pieces have a really insane set rate. For instance, the legs have a 0 0.20 set rate. So you should be able to sell them pretty fast. And so many people are using this transmog. So in order to get this transmog, this is the same way. For this one, you really want to go in uh, the farm in Silitus. And this is where you're going to be able to get most of these pieces very easily. You can, of course, also get some of the over pieces by doing over activities and over dungeons. But really, this farm is going to be the best one. And like that, you should be able to really make quite a lot of gold. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I will be back very soon with more guys, with more top 10s. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have like any specific top 10 you would like me to to do. And yeah, in the meantime, I wish you all a very good uh, weekend and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.